Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and here are some of the things that I like at CES. Vizio has a new high def TV coming out and it's the highest resolution of all the other 1080p's. This is 2560 1080p. Like all the other TV uh, 1080p sets, they're 1920 by 1080. Um, so right now there's no um, services that I know that you can get this resolution in. Maybe Vizio is going to have their own internet service where you can download movies or something like that. That's kind of interesting because um, I know um, Blu-rays, you know, Blu-ray only supports, um, you know, 1920 19, by uh, 1080. So... Um, maybe they're going to work on another format. Who knows what's going on. But this is kind of interesting to see a TV with this resolution. It is some type of new video uh, ar ar arcade game uh, for Angry Birds in China. Read it if you want it. Um, jailbroken uh, uh, devices, um, you know, cases in China. <laughs> kind of funny. And they got the city of logo. Um, here's an interesting thing. I was on Craigslist. Metro PCS is a forty dollars unlimited uh, talk, text, and web. Now their phones aren't like uh, so they get. I think they might have some okay phones and maybe some not okay phones. Uh, you know they're a prepaid service. However, I was on Craigslist and I did see somebody said that they had a Droid Two with um, a flash version of the Metro PCS. Android operating system or uh, whatever it was set up for Android. So I guess you know you can root your another Android device and get it to work on Metro PCS. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So just want to keep that keep keep that keep keep an eye out for that. Uh, so what else we got? Uh, seems that there's a small tweak in the iPhone 4. If you want to read it, it's not really that interesting to me. This is a little interesting, but I mean I'm not going to buy it probably. Uh, if you want to watch your iPhone 4. Uh, has this little strap that goes around your neck. Actually, you're probably not a bad idea if you're in a pl um, at an airport or maybe a doctor's office and you need to kill some time. Uh, Canon now has their new uh, high-end consumer camcorders. The this is what a lot of people were always wanted. They want a real focus ring uh, to do fall focus and other things. Uh, the the last year's version they had like this little knob at the bottom. And it was a pain in the ass if you needed to focus it. So glad to see that. I do want to see Canon fix their aliasing issue um, on their camcorders. If you don't know what aliasing is, when straight lines get jaggy. And it's coming from the CMOS sensor when it's trying to downscale uh, to 1080p or whatever resolution. Uh, here we have the PlayStation phone. Place it, um, you know, it's fin finally they getting the PlayStation logo on there. Um, their Android, I guess their uh, Xperia, whatever their phones are, and as you can see, it has the same buttons that you know you see on a PlayStation controller. So that's pretty interesting. Also, I do want to keep in keep in mind that this will probably be the best Android phone for playing um, ROMs, you know, emulators and stuff like that. Now, I do know about uh, the Game Gripper, which is also an awesome device. That you can put in your Android 2 um, or your Android phone or other devices. And that's called Game Gripper. Uh, that's for slide out keyboards. Um, this seems kind of interesting. It's a hydro car list on eBay. And it seems like something that's out of the future. Check it out. Uh, 3D glass. I wasn't even really watching that. It's 3D glass. I'll put it in the link if you guys want to read it. And do I got anything else here? Oh, here's something that I really, really interested interested in. Um, this is the hand grip. What's really interesting about this? Now, this I believe is only set up for the iPhone 4. Hopefully, they'll make a version for the I, iPod Touch. What I love about this device is that it has the speakers right here on the left and the right. Uh, you guys know when I do my game review, sometimes my hand covers up the speaker and the speaker for the iPhone for gaming or the iPod Touch or whatever, um, probably in the iPad, even though I haven't really played with the iPad, it's just a bad place to put a speaker. They should really just put a speaker. Um, you know, I have a HTC uh, Droid Incredible. There. The speaker is actually in the back. Um, you know, it doesn't maybe sound as good as 
the iPhone 3GS since the speaker is in the back. However, when I'm playing on the HTC Jordan Creble, I never cover up the speaker. So in a way, it is kind of better. Also, there was another story. Uh, I just I, I skimmed it and I didn't find it interesting at the beginning, but I decided I wanted to add it, but I couldn't find it again. Uh, it seems like Lenovo is coming out with a um, um, an Android laptop. You know, it's I guess you know wh where the screen will detach from the keyboard, and then then it's a tablet, and you can pop it back down. And then it's it's a, it's a laptop. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put all these links in the doobly doo description box if you want to check some of these these things out. Um, yeah. So CES it seems like they're gonna have a lot of cool things. Also, guys, keep in mind uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff coming out at CES. So don't get too hyped up until CES is over because you never know where another competitor is gonna bring on another product and hype the product that that's out right now it's still we still have a couple more days of CES and if you're somebody who likes gaming um, and you know I know Android is not really uh, up to par with the iPhone 4 for gaming but uh, Samsung is coming out with the Samsung Galaxy MP3 player which will have full access to the Android market so you know you can play some Android games and I'll tell you right now I've been playing around with the Android device um, I'm starting to like it I mean the first day you know I didn't really like it like it too much because I was like kinda like not used to the interface so you know I'm coming from the uh, you know the iPhone um, interface and now a, d a day later the an I'm starting to like the Android a lot more I found a couple of cool games I do like them there's a few games that I'm not on the um, uh, iPhone uh, platform and I'm kinda glad that I do have my Android device however they don't have uh, so far the really high-end games but um, for the casual easy uh, pick up and play interesting games and you know usually games where it's uh, maybe one or two guys making it um, there, are, there is some good games on the Android device so if you're into those types of games you may want and you don't maybe you have an iPhone maybe you don't want to sign up for a contract you know the Samsung Galaxy uh, MP3 player will probably be a good choice for you or you can buy a used uh, Android device like I did on Craigslist usually you can find an HTC HTC Droid Incredible for you know if you get lucky 150 um, some people do sell them for 150 because they want to get rid of them uh, Droid 2's I've seen them as low as 175 uh, so both those two phones range from 150 to 200 around that, right around that price range so you could probably grab one also um, I do want to talk about something else just really quick when I went into the I'm gonna make another video about this topic and I know I'm rambling on for um, quite a long time uh, when I bought this phone off of um, uh, off of the, the guy on Craigslist yeah, you know, I was at the Verizon store, and I asked the guy, like, how do you go, well, I asked the guy I bought it from, I said, how do you go on uh, Wi-Fi? He said he didn't know since, you know, he just uses the Verizon Internet service. So he says, well, let's go ask the Verizon guy. And the Verizon guy says, well, you can't use uh, Wi-Fi at all. The uh, phone's uh, locked out unless you have service. All I did was help, hold down the power button. Um, the volume rocker is over how you move. You, you uh, reset the phone or whatever it did. The HTC uh, Droid Incredible rebooted, and um, I'm using this thing just like an iPod Touch. So I think uh, the guys at Verizon don't even want to help you with that. All right, guys, once again, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. You guys take care. Later.